Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Season 4, The Large Herbivorous Dinosaurs. Brady the Diplodocus, a lifelong grower. Scientific name, Diplodocus, period, late Jurassic. Fossils found in the United States, North America. Description. Diplodocus was a sauropod dinosaur that walked on all four legs. It had a long neck and a whip-like tail, with a row of slim spines on its back. It is well known that most sauropods were big guys. What you probably don't know is that unlike blue whales, the giants in the ocean, sauropods were not very big when they were born. Sometime in the late Jurassic, present-day North America, the 30 centimeters Brady the Diplodocus hatched. Lifting the small head and turning its petite eyes around, it always watched around with vigilance. If it heard any unusual movements or sensed something strange, the scared Diplodocus took cover and hid. It was always worried about being bee-eaten by other animals with fangs and claws. Brady the Diplodocus spent the first year of its life in fear. It was a hard year, but thanks to its vigilance, it avoided becoming a predator's meal. A few years later, it grew into a large 4.5 meter long dinosaur, still smaller than an adult Diplodocus, but compared to other herbivorous dinosaurs, it was already a grown-up youth. It no longer ran away and hid from the slightest provocation and could forage for fresh leaves confidently. It had always been a slow eater because its teeth were very fragile and could not snap tree branches when it ate. It had to take the leaves off the branches first. After only a few more years, Brady's size doubled again to 9 meters. By then, it was bigger than most herbivorous dinosaurs and looked almost like an adult Diplodocus. Its body was long but not fat, and widest at its big belly. Still, compared with other big sauropods, like the Huanghe Titan and the Argentinosaurus, its belly was much smaller and its body slimmer. When the Diplodocus grew to 10 years old, its body reached 15 meters. It was by then a big boy, healthy with a great appetite. It needed to eat a lot of food every day but it could not lift the neck all the way up, so the leaves it could eat were those two to three meters either above or below its head. When Brady the Diplodocus grew to full size, it would be 27 meters, but this was not the limit. It would continue to grow with age. The adult Brady had features typical of sauropods. It had a long body and a long neck and tail, with the neck-to-body ratio being lower than other sauropods. The tail, consisting of 70 tail vertebrae, was conspicuous. The end of the tail was a whip-like structure, composed of many thin vertebrae. Some of these were skinny, about the same width and length as a pencil. When predators saw its huge body and the tail, which could hit attackers like a whip, they would think twice before attacking. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Join our writer, Miss Yong Yong, and artist, Mr. Zhao Chuang, and start this fantastic journey.